Dimelang Dimelang, welcome to Joburg today. My name is Mapula Malaji. Today in studio, we chat to Wayne Minar from the JMPD and Alan Letts from Uba Johannesburg. The JMPD is turning 13 this year, and here in studio, we have Wayne Minar from the JMPD. Wayne, how are you? Hi, Mapula, I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Please tell us a little bit about the responsibilities you have. Yes. Yes, as head of communications in the JMPD, my function include uh, media relations, uh, PR events, and marketing. There's also other events which the JMPD has to do, which include the road safety, and then there's also the community outreach unit, which reports directly to me. Now, the community outreach unit is a unit which does presentations and, and safety education at schools, institutions, and churches. There's also the scholar patrol function, which uh, is a responsibility of this unit, where the officers go out to the schools to make sure that the scholars or learners are complying with the regulation and that they're wearing the uniform and that motorists or parents also obey the scholar patrollers. The functions of the Metro Police is uh, crime prevention, now this is done by, through visible policing. The Metro Police also has to enforce the bylaws of the city, of which there are 14 sets of bylaws. Metro Police also has to do the road policing. Now road policing function is to make sure that people comply with road traffic regulation. And so what are some of your, the challenges that you may face? The challenges which the officers face is, um, is quite wide-ranging, which include um, the, the issue of, um, of motorists not understanding clearly the functions of the, of the Metro Police. Because the difference between the Metro Police and the South African Police is that the Metro Police do not investigate crime. When an officer does come across an offender or a criminal, the suspect gets taken to a police station. And at the police station, the Metro Police hand over the suspect to the SAPS where the person is placed into the cells and the SAPS appoint an investigating officer to finalize the investigation in order to place the, the, co the case onto the court roll for the individual to appear before court. So that is the, some of the major challenges which the, um, the JMPD is facing at the moment. My name is Steve and this is Joburg Today. Uber's mission is to go to every major city in the world and roll out an efficient, convenient, elegant transportation system. I like to think that Uber is creating a new way of getting around cities. The first use case that matters in a city is going out. You know, maybe it's date night or maybe it's going out to the clubs with friends, but very quickly it starts to move into daytime use. You get used to pushing that button at night on Friday or Saturday, then you're stuck between meetings and you need to get somewhere. And it sort of works its way from the weekend into the weekday. That simplicity around not having to think about how I'm going to get from point A to point B is huge. In cities around the world, especially the major ones, you have a very stagnant transportation ecosystem. A lot of times they don't work. Bringing innovation to this world, which in many cases really hasn't been innovated on in decades, can really bring diversity to a system that hasn't seen a lot of that. Uber is everyone's private driver, and the drivers are the lifeblood of Uber. We're bringing that kind of experience to the masses. I started with one car and right now I have several cars. I couldn't see myself managing five, six, seven drivers without Uber. I would have to have a whole office, dispatcher, and now it's easy. I set my hours around my kids' school. Once I take care of them, then I can schedule any day, anytime I want to work. The freedom is 
the big component of my decision to join Uber. So much about cities is how you get around them. If you can bring real efficiency, real convenience, and real comfort to how you move around that city, you can change the way people live in that city. Here we are in studio with Alan Lutz from Uber. How are you doing, Alan? Well and you, thanks very much for having me here. I'm all right. Um, please tell us a little bit about Uber. So Uber is a smartphone application which gives you the ability to book a private driver on demand using a touch of a button. Can you please tell us how the application works? So there's an application available either from the iStore or the Google Play Store. For other smartphone users, they can go to m.uber.com and access the application. So once you log on to the application, it's maps-based technology, it will pick up your current location on the application. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to worry about inputting an address. If you don't know where you are, not a problem with Uber. Wow. When you open up the application, you'll see little black cars on the map, and those are your private drivers. We don't employ the drivers, we don't own the cars, but we partner with existing operators in the industry. The partners that we that we working with in Johannesburg drive the likes of BMW, Mercedes, Audi, so really your premium vehicles. When you're ready to leave, you literally open up the application, you'll see the time that will take the closest driver to arrive, and you click set pickup location. What will happen then when you sign up, you sign up with your payment details on file. You request your pickup, what will appear on the application is the driver's name, his car that he's driving, and his number plate. So from a security perspective, you know exactly who's coming to pick you up. You're not getting into a stranger's vehicle. No. The other great thing about Uber is it's like TripAdvisor for drivers. At the end of your trip, you get to rate the driver. So you can see what your driver's rating is before you get in his car. Again, it's a way for us to proactively manage the safety of the system. When the driver arrives, you'll get an in-app notification letting you know that he's here. So with Uber, there's no waiting outside, wondering where your car is. Literally, you can watch him in real time drive towards you. Um, I see you like, describes it as magic because you're literally watching on the application, you see a car pull up, you look outside and there, there your driver is. Oh, He'll wow. get out the car, professionally dressed, suit and tie, open up the back door for you, waters, newspaper, that type of thing in the back of the car. The driver will then ask you where you're going. He'll take you to your destination. And at the end of that, he literally hits end trip on his application, and that's all. It's completely cashless, it's completely seamless. You get out the car, you get an email receipt sent directly to you with a full breakdown of your fare and how it was calculated. You also get a screenshot of the route taken, so you know exactly if the driver was meant to drop you off in Santon, but only ended the trip in four ways, you can dispute that by replying to your receipt, and our customer support team will respond straight away. This is Minolta, and this is Joburg Today. If you would like 200 Rand to spend on Uber, download the app and use Joburg Today as a promo code. And don't forget to keep in touch with us through social media. Cheers! It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. So shall she heal, you can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way.
Oh, oh, oh. 